when the defendant uh, takes the stand. No, it's, I, I don't think it's ever smart. Um, so many things can go wrong, especially when someone's been framed a certain way leading up to that. Uh, that person has to be so just in, in just just perfect, just absolutely perfect. And no one is perfect. Um, you know, seeing him, just watching him as a juror in the, in the few times I see him here through the screen, he just seems kind of like for, yeah, kind of creepy, to be honest. Uh, so unless he's going to come out and have a Mr. Rogers feel, and only his attorneys will know that. I, I would just leave him, leave him alone. I mean, everybody knows he's going to deny what happened, and you can pick up what the defense is and what his story is. I, I just don't see any benefit in having him repeat that with any chance that he may say something or move in a certain way where the jury just gets turned off and go, "Oh my God, this guy totally did it." Uh, 